All right, look, I know what you came here for. No BS, no ball tickling. Okay, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to show you how to make an FPS counter. In case you don't know, which I don't, like, you know. Okay, no, nah, no, okay, no, no, no. I like, look, look, you're a viewer. You're not stupid, okay? So I will not explain anything, okay? I'll get straight into the meat, meat and bones of things. I don't know, whatever people say. So you need to make a local script, okay? And by the way, I was just joking. I will explain, okay? So FPS is frames per second, okay? And a frame is basically how fast the game updates, okay? Because obviously the game isn't updating infinitely, right? Like, it, you know, something happens, then the game takes a bit of time, and then another thing happens, right? Because the game needs time to calculate things. It needs time to render, you know, like physics. It needs time to, or not render. It needs time to render images and simulate physics, Right, so obviously it can't do that infinitely. Um, the reason we're doing this on a local script, by the way, is because frames per second is all local. Okay, so f the, like the server has frames per second, but that's usually referred to as a tick. Okay, if if none of the words I said made any sense, then don't worry about it. I'm just gonna show you how to make an FPS counter, and then I'll as a little bonus, I'll just show you like like the, like the server stuff as well okay so yeah make a local script in starter player and then starter player script what this will do is this will take the script and it will give it to every single new player who joins okay and what we just want to do is we just want to get um we just want to understand how can we even get the player's frame rate okay how can we know how fast the player's game is updating and that's a great question we need we will need, we will need to use something called the run service okay Run service is the thing that actually handles stuff like frame rate, handles stuff like ticks, handles, um, you know, renders, you know, all that magical fairy tale stuff. I don't, not, not even, I don't know, bro. I'm tired. It's like, what time is it? 10.42 p.m. I mean, that's that's not that bad. <laughs> so I'll make a variable called local RS is equal to game dot run service, like so. Which actually, you can actually do this apparently. So I've, I don't know why. I always thought that you, to get a service, you have to use get service. Like I, I always thought that you had to do this. But apparently you can just do game dot run service. So that changes my entire worldview. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this. Yeah, so we, we just made a variable called run service or RS, which is equal to the service. And so what run service has is it has multiple functions. Okay. So it has stuff like heartbeat, which will fire every frame after all the physics uh, simulation stuff has completed. And then we have render step, which is fi fired every frame before the physics and everything are rendered, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use render stepped, okay? Now, usually what you would do with this is you would connect it to a function, okay? So what this will do is whenever the whenever a new frame occurs, we're gonna run a piece of code, right? And what render step gives us is delta time, like so. You can, you can name this whatever you want, by the way. It's just, it's just gonna be equal to the time, like it's gonna be equal to how long it took um, since the last frame like rendered, okay? So for example, if I print delta time, like so, and if I, not run, if I play the game, so I can't run because running means you're not playing the game, which, and we need to be playing the game because it's a local script. And yeah, there we go. So every single frame, it's printing out the delta time. So this is this is how long for me, for my device, this is how long it takes for me in between frames, okay? So the frame change, so like my game updates every 0 0.0 uh, 16 seconds, right? So, so that's how fast my game updates. But how do we actually take this? And what, what, what did I click? Okay, how do we actually like transform this into um, FPS, right? How do we actually change this to be frames per second? Because frames are usually like, you know, 60 FPS, 90 FPS, right? How can we actually transform it into that? And so what we can do is we can, so, you know, we, we have this delta time and everything and we simply need to, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's just one divided by delta time. Let me check. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's one divided by delta time. And now, and by the way, the reason 
So in like, you know, like I, I hate, I hate the tutorials that are always like, you know, they do something like they, they give you the, like the answer, but they don't explain why it works. Right. Cause you're probably sitting here like, Oh, why are we, the why are we, why is it one divide? Like what, what, what is this? How does this work? Okay. So let me pull up. <laughs> I'm on documentation boys. Okay. I got look, look, I got to stay updated. Okay. I got to, I got to stay informed the way, the reason why we're, di we're, um, dividing one by Delta time is because Delta time is how long it takes for the game to update. Right. So, be, so like I'm on 60 FPS usually, right? So yeah, sometimes it goes to 59 F FPS, but the, the average is 60 frames per second. Okay. And 60 frames per second. Okay. How much seconds is one frame, right? Well, we, we can know that by dividing one, which is one second by 60, like so. And there we go. So that's the number we saw earlier, right? So it's going to take me this. So, so one frame takes this amount of time, right? And so if we just want to convert it back into frames, then we just have to do the reverse calculation, right? So, so to get this number, we had to do one divided by frame rate. And then to get the frame rate, we just have to do one divided by you know, the number of time that it takes for one frame. So if I do one divided by, um, what was it again? <laughs> one point zero or not one point zero point zero one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. So then it's going to be equal to 60, 60 FPS, right? Um, so that's kind of the calculation here. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, so every single frame, it's basically going to give us the frame rate, right? And then obviously from, from this point, you can, you know, have your own different ways of actually showing it. So, you know, I can make um, like a GUI, so I can make like some text, okay? I'll make a text label, which obviously, you know, designed this way better than I did. But I could just, yeah, I could just have this label. I can just give it, make the text scaled so it's very big, like so. And then I can just say, um, I can put the script inside the text actually. And then I could just say script.parents.text is equal to this, right? So then if I play the game, then it should, yeah, there we go. So there's our beautiful frame rate tracker. Um, so, you know, no, you might be seeing a few issues. Number one, it's updating a little too quick. Okay. That's one. And number two, we have all of these numbers. Okay. Which you, you probably do not want. And so I will teach you how to, you know, fix both of these issues. And then I'll quickly cover like the server stuff that I promised before. Um, so the way we can actually round it is we can just put this, you know, in a bracket and we can just say math dot floor like so. And so I believe this will round the number to the nearest whole number. Yep, there we go. And obviously, as you as you can see, you know it's a little um, it, it's a it's a little rapid, okay. And sometimes it's going to like a hundred. Like, did you see that? It was like a hundred something, right? That's 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 so interesting. Yeah, it just goes to like a hundred sometimes. Um, so what we could do as well is we can just make it update once every like maybe maybe one second okay so i can make i, mean, I can make a loop so while task dot wait one do so every one second um how can we get the delta time and then you know do all of this well what we can do is we can use render step so i can say r s dot render step and i can do wait like so and so what this this will give me uh, this, th th this will give me Delta time. Okay. So what this will do is, is it's going to wait until the next frame happens. And it's going to basically tell me how long it took for that frame to happen, which is exactly what Delta time is. Right. So this is going to literally going to be equal to our time. Right. So, or no, wait, no. Yeah. So local Delta time is equal to this. So, so li li literally like I can just take this line. I can, I can delete all of this and I can just paste this here. Okay. So, so every one second, we're going to get the delta time and then we're just going to change our, you know, our text. Now there's a lot of ways to go about this. So, you know, you could, let's see. Yeah, there we go. 50, 60. 
my character is different than, than usual, so that's that's fun. But yeah, so every second it updates the frame rate. So yeah, by default it's you know 60. So it it, it, it that that's why it looks like it's staying at 60. Um but yeah, so we got 59, 60, 58, 59. That's not good. My frame rate is dropping, bro. It's dropping. Um and yeah, so that's basically how you get the frame rate. Okay. And as promised, to quickly show you how the server stuff works, it's effectively the same, right? So game dot render stepped, not replicated or not render stepped. I'm stupid. Run service. Um, yeah. So you have functions like stepped. You have functions like um, heartbeat. Okay. Yeah. You have render stepped. You have heartbeat. Um, and you know you you can just kind of you know read these through. So what what heartbeat will do? is it will basically run whenever the, um, it, it's gonna run on the server, okay? Because the the frame rate of the server is different from the frame rate of an individual person, right? Because like, for example, there could be two people playing one game and one of the people have has like 90 frames per second and you know, their game is very smooth. And then we have a person with like 10 frames per second, okay? And then, you know, their frame rate is very, bad right but it's like the person with the 10 frames per second that's that that only affects them right that doesn't affect the actual game or the other players right but if the server was at 10 frames per second then every single person would only be able to do things at 10 frames per second right so so like if the game updates at 10 frames per second then it doesn't matter how good your computer is that's just how fast it will it's going to update for everyone right um, unless your frames per second is even lower, right? So if your frames per second is lower than 10, might might be time to get a new computer. Um, but yeah, so that's the idea. You know, that's the frames per second. Amazing, beautiful tutorial. Check out my courses, bro. They're high value. They're like 20 bucks, I think. Or like 14. Ud Udemy is like putting them on sale. So it's like, it's scamming me, bro. <laughs> but yeah, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.